Hi, my name is Ethan Webster. Uh, I'm from Winchester in the south of England. Uh, my date of birth is 15th of October 2002.
Yeah, uh, so actually I've been uh, back and forth from the States a couple of times already uh, now. Um, I, was born, I was born in Chicago um, uh, and then moved at six months old back to, to where I am now in Winchester. Um, when I was eight, my dad got a job offer to go back to Chicago. Uh, we were there for seven more years and then two years ago, uh, moved back to, um, to, to Winchester. So I've been back and forth a couple of times. Um, I was born in America, so I am a, a dual citizen. Like three years ago, I wasn't really, um, you know, golf was, as I said, more of like a social thing for me. It was like something I did with friends, something I, I did with my dad. But then when I was injured, um, it became a way that I could still play sport and, and compete. So um, started really getting into it, um, you know, and, and, and trying to trying to improve, probably, you know, actively trying to get better for the first time. Um, I started working with a coach um, probably only about a year ago, actually. Um, started working with Elliot up at, up at Royal Winchester. Um, and he's, he's basically helped me turn it from, um, you know, something I'm okay at to, to something I have a chance of really pursuing it um, at university and, and beyond that. Um, so I, I started at the club, um, as I said, about 12 months ago. I had a handicap of 18, I think it was. And... Um, since then, I've been working really close with Elliot, playing as much as I can, practicing as much as I can, um, and it's come all the way down to seven um, where it is now. So I think in about in, in about twelve months, we dropped eleven shots, um, despite the, uh, the the two month absence for for coronavirus. Obviously, I know myself that I'll continue to work as hard as I have for for the last year, and so that kind of progression that I've made, um, you know, I, I'd hope to do that all, all again and keep going with it. Um, so. The scores I'm shooting right now, you know, it's, it's close to par. Um, and certainly, you know, in the last week, even, you know, I've had some, some good rounds despite, you know, a long time away. So I'm hoping, especially this summer, lots of golf, uh, lots of golf tournaments um, and, and then lots of work going through the winter um, as well as I had uh, this past year. And so really for me, I think the goal uh, working with Elliot would be to get to scratch uh, within the next sort of, six six to, to eight months um and that's obviously been sh shifted back a little bit because we've had to take a bit of time out but um that, that's certainly the goal based on where i'm you know where i'm shooting right now what my scores are like and and just how how my, my general game is at the minute i was always a footballer really um that was a sport that i um kind of fell in love with from a young age certainly like my dad um started taking me to west ham games i think when i was three so kind of fell in love with the game, um, played it for, I think, probably 10 years at a pretty high standard. In fact, when I was living in the States, I was playing for, um, for uh, FC United in, in Chicago, and, and we went to uh, the national championships and all, um, and, and that was going really well. Um, and then um, my last year in the States, I started, um, I grew about, about, about a foot in, in, in eight months, um, and I just had all sorts of injuries associated with that. Um, and kind of stopped me being able to play football really. Um, so when we came back um, back to England, I wasn't really able to get going with with the football. So I sort of um, I, I still sort of love love to compete and play sports. So I started kind of turning to golf, which I played like occasionally um, from a young age, just because my dad again is interested in that. And so I played with him a few times, um, and I kind of started getting really into it. Um, when we came back back to England, um, and it's kind of taken off since then. Really, I, I just sort of started playing golf at a higher standard, um, having a few lessons, and just kind of, um, you know, from from more of a sort of a social thing I was doing with some friends, it kind of turned into something I wanted to to take seriously and try and try and compete at a high high standard. So I did middle school. I finished middle school in the states and came back straight into the GCSEs, um, which was a bit of a um, it was a bit of a tough break, really, because they'd started kind of um, laying the groundwork for that in the previous year. So I think when I came back, I really did have a lot of stuff to catch up on. Um, but I think to be fair, much like my golf, I'm, I'm, as a student, I'm, I'm very hardworking and I like to, um, you know, I like, I like to be as good as I possibly can. Um, and so I think for me, it was really a, a simple decision, you know, to really just... Put, put lots of, of hours in. Um, I started, you know, working with some teachers at the school to try and catch me up on what I was um, behind on. Um, and there was a couple of GCSEs where I literally missed an entire year of teaching that I had to, to catch up myself. Um, but in the end, I mean, my, my results were, were fantastic. And that was kind of what, what drove me, uh, really, was that, you know, 
if I can get those good GCSEs, then it will open me up to, to be able to do anything really um, beyond that. Um, and I think, you know, I'm doing my A-levels right now. Um, I definitely want to go to a, to a high-level university academically. I want to go to somewhere that will, you know, challenge me academically um, and, and, you know, lay the groundwork for me to, to be successful um, in, in, in no, no matter what I end up doing. Um, and, and that's, that's it really, I suppose, is that what I want to get, make sure that I get from the university is, is you know, go somewhere that is competitive um, and is, you know, a high level so that if I end up pursuing, you know, a more academic route in the future, then that, that is, you know, certainly a very strong option um, based on the education I've got. Just personally, what I, what I would be able to bring, you know, obviously I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a hard worker, I, I, I'm competitive, I always want to win. Um, and so certainly I feel like, um, you know, I can work with people around me um, and, and I'm all, you know, in the same direction. Uh, I feel like, I, you know, I don't want to blow smoke or anything, but I feel like I just, you know, get on with people in general um, and, and can form strong relationships. You know, I said I moved, um, I've moved back and forth from the States twice. And, I've, I, you know, I've got, I've got really good friends there still, you know, and, and each place I've gone, I've, I've been able to make, close relationships and, and keep in touch with people. Um, so I feel like that's something that I certainly bring. Um, I can be a good member of a team, um, but I'm also, you know, I can also be a, a, a strong leader as well. Um, certainly things I've done at school um, speak to that um, with, with the Duke of Edinburgh stuff and uh, with the football team as well. Um, and actually at the moment, I'm the, I'm the junior captain at the golf club as well. So I feel like I can definitely be a, a strong leader in a team environment, but also, you know, I know, at the same time, it's just as important to be a good team player, and I feel like I can I can do both roles, you know, without without great issue. Honestly, like it'd be a dream to be able to, uh, you know, following university pursue a career in golf. Like that, that is obviously, you know, in an ideal world, that would be the case. Like you know, come out of university and um, maybe try and you know get through Q school either um, in the states or uh, back in Europe and 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 get a card for. Uh, get a tour card for the Challenge Tour or, or the, the Corn Ferry Tour. That that obviously is um, the ideal situation. That's that's what I'll work as hard as I possibly can to to make a reality. Um, and and that obviously is what I want to do. Um, if that doesn't happen, then I think frankly I'd probably still prefer to to, to live in the states. Um, and I don't know. Obviously, I've got connections and I know people in in Chicago. I've lived there before, so that'll probably be somewhere I'd love to go back um, and and try and you know, live there and work there. Um, and, you know, if I was going to go down that route, I'd probably be looking, you know, based on what I'm studying now, probably something in business or economics. That's that's kind of the thing that um, interests me most. So um, that would probably be the route that I'd, I'd pursue. Uh, my mum and dad um, and my brother, we all live in, in the house. Um, my dad uh, still works with the same company based in, um, in Chicago. Uh, and and he's a, he's a CFO. Uh, for, for a consulting firm and then my mum uh, she works in restorative practices in schools and um, with uh, young offenders so um, you know that's both both interesting and you know something that I can look to and, and see that you know is, is quite interesting and, and impressive um, my brother is three years younger than me um, and we're both you know really interested in sport um, he's he's like me at that age he was he's a footballer uh, he plays in goal actually, um, but he he plays golf for me as well. Um, you know whatever we're doing, um, we all go to the West Ham games together. So I feel like we've got a really closely knit family. Um, you know, f for definite. You know, I feel like that's something that I can always, you know, um, know that I've got behind me, and I've always got the support of my family, and that's that's huge for me. Um, and then also I've got you know my wider family. I've got really good relationships with my my three grandparents um, and my cousins and that and um so that i think you know family is definitely really important to me and so seeing seeing um so if i was seeing my cousin um succeed going through the u.s route that was kind of what um inspired me to want to have a look at it myself so yeah i think certainly like my family is is, is very important to me and, and and to what i do certainly you know the golf and the football it's all come from my dad and you know big influence on me um yeah as you say i, I do quite a lot of sport as well as golf but Outside of school, I'm you know involved in music as well. Like um, I play in a um, like a jazz and blues ensemble at, at school, um, which I really enjoy. 
Um, and I'd, actually, it was, it was something I did in the States as well. Um, so I kind of came over here and, and got involved in that. Um, and then I do, I, I finished something uh, just recently called uh, the Duke of Edinburgh um, program, uh, the Silver Level, um, which is a program where you, you, do, um, you do six months of, of volunteering uh, once a week. Um, six months of, uh, of learning a new skill and, and 12 months of physical activity um, and so I was involved um, at something called the Park Run which is like this, this great community event um, it's completely free um, trying to get as many people in the community out you know exercising running every single week um, and that was just an amazing opportunity um, I absolutely love that I even got to be the run director in charge of it all one week and um, you know the stuff I've learned through that, and, and seeing people being able to help people that that was just amazing. Um, so that that that's something that I did that you know is regarded quite highly here, um, and you know is something that I enjoyed as well. Um, and that with, with the music is is probably what I'm doing mostly aside from sport. Um, with my friends, I mean my school's an interesting because it's got quite a wide catchment despite not being that big. Um, so most of my friends live. Uh, a little bit further away than I might like, but I've got friends here in Winchester, and, and and to be fair, most of what I do with them is probably sport. You know, we've got some good mates that I play golf with, um, some mates I play tennis with, and then we've got the school football team. Um, you know, is a really good bunch as well. So, um, I, to be fair, most of what I spend my time doing with friends is, is something to do with sport. But um, I mean, I enjoy it like that, and I, I know they're the same. So, I think. Certainly, my my biggest strength is 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 my ball striking. Um, I mean, my my driving in particular, the distance and and that, that I get off the tee, um, you know, really makes some 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 long and difficult golf courses far easier for me. Um, so, without a doubt, um, certainly the coaches I've worked with, the speed and distance I have in all my clubs is is something they 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 love. Um, and then, to be fair, my putting is is something I've worked really really hard on in the last kind of three months or so and that's that's getting stronger and stronger um and so i'd probably put those two as, as kind of the, the big things that i'm um you know would consider to be my strengths my driving and my putting um and then i think probably weaknesses right now um things i'm working on the most would be my wedges um certainly dialing it in trying to get some really tight distance control um and and that that probably is a little bit true in the eyes as well distance control that you know it doesn't help that i've been you know, doing so much work to get to get quicker and stronger, but um, you know, some, some certain some control and um, just just being able to to pick the spots and distances. That's that's what we're working on at the moment, um, and and kind of bringing it all together a little bit because I can, you know, I know I can strike the ball really really well, um, and I know I can putt and chip. So it, you know, it's just a question of right now of bringing it together. And and one of the things Elliot's got me doing probably above all is just getting me on the golf course so I'm getting as much experience playing and hitting certain shots and getting you know up and down and things like that um so I suppose that would be you know as, as so far as a weakness it's just the ability to kind of transfer some of the um the pure ball striking and putting to to make a to make a really solid round Well, I mean, as I am right now, like the main thing is just that I've got an environment which both athletically and academically is, you know, challenging and exciting and, and it's got new experiences. Um, you know, with my golf, I want to compete at as high a level as my ability, you know, will, will possibly um, allow and ensure. And, and it's exactly the same with the academics, really, is I just want to, I want to be in an environment with people, you know, like me who are taking it seriously and, and, and trying their very best. You know, doing everything they can to succeed because I know I will be, um, and and I guess you know when I leave when I leave university, the main thing I, I want is to be able to pursue um, both avenues, knowing that I've got um, really good strength in in what I've done over the last four years. Um, so whether I'm I'm in a position to be able to pursue professional golf or whether I'm you know going out looking for looking for a job, I want to make sure that I've got. A really strong university degree, and I've got four years of a fantastic golf experience as well. I've come, come such a long way in terms of how far I've improved, and and certainly like watching videos of my swing. Elliot showed me a couple uh, yesterday when I was having a lesson, and it's just unrecognisable what we're doing with the club now um, compared to then, and and the, the scores and the level of play is is unrecognisable.
Um, and frankly, what I want to make sure is that, you know, I've worked so hard at it, you know, every day pretty much I've been, been hitting balls or playing golf. And um, I want to make sure that, you know, I can do that again. You know, and I've, there's no reason why not, but just to make sure I keep working hard and, um, you know, putting in the hours on the driving range on the golf course um, to make sure that, you know, I've obviously dropped 11 shots uh, in the last 12 months. Um, to, you know, maybe you can't drop 11 more, but, you know, get down to scratch as soon as possible and, you know, really start competing in, in national, national tours and tournaments um, over the course of the next few months. Um, so, like, I've, I've just, um, in, the last, in the last six months, I started to compete uh, before, the, before the lockdown, I started to compete in, in, in bigger tournaments at the golf club. Um, so I think I played sort of 10 or 15 um, and that, that was nice, you know, to get some tournament experience um, and, and to, play, to play well in those tournaments as well. You know, I am a, you know, obviously an athlete and a competitor, so I want to win when I play all the time. And, and that, that was really good. So now I think probably looking forward um, is to, to, you know, sort of do it again, make those improvements, continue to get better and begin, as I said, to play in, in, in national and, and county events wherever possible.